Hello guys, welcome to the Max 3D Design. And one of my friends asked me to create a simple key holder with the shell where he can put his little wallet or the sunglasses. And I decided, why don't I make a tutorial about it? It's super easy and beginner friendly. Pretty much everyone can do it. Okay, let's get started. So first we're going to create a sketch on this plane. As you can see, I'm choosing X, Y. So the red is X, green is Y, and the blue is Z axis. So we're choosing play. So we're choosing plane on X, Y axis. So we're gonna create rectangle, center rectangle, right in the middle, starting from here. And we're going to make it 150 millimeters. I press tab. And we will make 60 millimeters wide and I press enter then I press finish sketch and I will choose extrude and we will make it four millimeters and I click OK so right now we just need to add some hooks and the shelf so I'm going to choose this face and create one more sketch on this face I will create two point rectangle so we're gonna have four hooks let's say starting from here so let's make it four I press tab by Let's use 12 millimeters. I hit enter. Then I double click on this rectangle that we selected and I will create a rectangular pattern. And I just drag right here to the right. It doesn't have to be necessary that it's super straight, but try for the middle one to be somewhere in the middle of the Y axis. It looks like this one a little bit stretched. All right, here is better. So we will need four keys. Let's see how it's gonna look with five. Maybe let's try with five. And I click OK. Then I click finish sketch. I go to extrude, select all those profiles that we just created and I will extrude it, let's say 14 millimeters. I click enter. So now as you can see, so I press shift and middle mouse and then I can rotate my model. Now as you can see we have already something that looks like what we need. So now let's create an actual hook that will hold the key. So I will select this profile and I create a sketch. I will zoom in with my middle mouse. Basically now what we need it's a simple circle. Let's say if I come here, it snaps in the middle and shows this triangle. That means we are in the middle of this line. So I click and I will drag until I'm satisfied. Let's say until the middle of our rectangle. Okay. Let's try to create one more circle. Right here. And I click one more time. Now with a simple line, I'm going to connect all this just like that. And I press letter T to trim leftovers that I don't need. So this will be our hook. I click finish sketch. Then I choose extrude 
and I choose the bits that I don't need. And I hold shift and rotate and I just press on this face and this way the sketch will cut out things that we don't really need. And I click OK. It looks a little bit rough. So let's apply some fillets. I choose fillet and I choose all these lines that I want to be more rounded. Let's say one and a half millimeters. Okay, then I press plus to add more fillets. Let's say these parts will be more like that. I click OK. So now let's make them more attached to the platform. Also, we can do that with fillet. I hold shift, middle mouse and rotate and I select those lines and let's make them more smooth. This will be perfect. I click OK. We can do the same with those lines. If you click something wrong, then you just click it again and it will deselect. Like that. I click OK. Let's try to make this edge a little bit more round so that it won't be so sharp and nobody cut their fingers. Let's say like that, I click OK. Let's make them even more round with the fillets. One millimeter will be perfect. I click OK. So now you see we have very smooth looking hooks. Now let's add the shelf that will hold the wallet or something like that. For that, we create a sketch on this face. And just simple two point rectangle will be fine for this. So let's say from here until here and the shelf will be four millimeters. Tab and four millimeters. Just like that. Finish sketch. Or actually we can make some rails on the side. So in order to come back to previous sketch right here in the timeline, if you don't have timeline, you can always click here, capture design history or do not capture design history. Preferably if you capture it all the time, but in some cases you don't need this feature and then you just do not capture. So right here in design history, right click, and I choose edit sketch. And let's say I want to add some details, let's say like that. And let's make it also four millimeters. And same, same on the other side. Four millimeters. Press T to trim. Escape and finish sketch. Now we have to extrude this sketch. So let's say the wallet and the sunglasses also will be 60 millimeters. I click OK. So that's how it looks like for now. Let's make those edges a little bit angled. So from modify, I choose chamfer, click on those edges. And let's see what can we do with that. Like this. Okay. And then we do fill it with those two edges. 
let's make it all the way and then I click OK. So that's how it looks for now. And then let's put some decorations. We can add text. Let's, let's say if you have uh, grandma, wife, son, daughter, uncle, neighbor, whatever, you can just put the texts right here. But since it's tutorial, we're gonna do a simple text. Let's say just the one that's saying home. So I click on this face. I will create sketch. From create drop down menu, I choose two point rectangle. Then I will choose text. I'll use the same rectangle for the text. And here we will type home aligning in the center. Let's make it bold. We can do some spaces, maybe even more, a little bit too much, something like that. Then the height we can change to 15, maybe less backspaces. Looking pretty good. I click OK and I click finish sketch. Then I choose extrude this home word and until the other side and I click OK. So now we have nice beautiful key holder. We can delete this as it is. So we choose this body, right click, remove. Now to make it more smooth we can apply some more fillets. fillet. Let's say all the way here and the same on the other side. Let's try to add a couple more edges. It won't let me do it. So let's say two millimeters. Let's add round edges right here. Say two millimeters also. Okay, let's try to add some fillets right here. Okay, and maybe in the corners also. Of course, one supposed to be over here. Let's add one right here, and we have already something that looks very nice. We can add some holes in case if we want to screw it to the wall so create sketch all this requires just two holes so let's say somewhere over here let's make it five millimeters or even four then we're going to create one line construction line from the center I drag up like this check mark and right here we have a mirror function. So I double click here, then mirror line will be over this line and I click OK. Finish sketch, extrude this and that on the other side and I click OK. So for the screws we can make some nice chamfer, let's say here and here for our screws and I click OK. So that's how it looks for now. We can also add some nice patterns or or some other words over here, but I think this will be the fastest version for the actual printer and I think it's ready for 3D printing. So then we just go file, 3D print this file. Here we have already curious selected and I click OK. Now we just wait for the cura to start up. 
looks like I need to update my Cura, arrange all models, and that's what we have. Ok, looks pretty good. And that's it for our tutorial for today, thank you for watching and have a great modeling!